Hey guys, welcome to my August 26th DVD update. Well, I talk about the DVDs I've gotten over the last two weeks. The first DVD I got is Survival. It's a DVD directed by um, Joe Francis. And as you know, me and MJ are in his new film, upcoming film, Garage Fever. Um, you can look for the trailer for that online. Just search Garage Fever trailer. This movie is about a group of these kids that go out camping in the woods and the one girl like steps on a rocket or something and screws up her foot so they have to try and find a doctor or like a house or someone who can help and they stumble across this weird house and inside there's this weird odd family the one guy like does these experiments on people in the basement the other guy's the surgeon guy and like he really doesn't help him out much and then he sends him back out and then like the the, the brother I mean the weird son hunts them down one by one taking them to this basement and like ripping their face off it's I, I like this a lot Def, you should definitely check this out if you can find it it's from York Entertainment and I believe it's out for rent you can rent it at Blockbuster Hollywood Video um, you can also order it online at Amazon or CDUniverse.com the next one I got is from um, Code Red Entertainment and it's funny I thought that Code Red was done with Shriek Show Entertainment I thought they were working with BCI now, but it still says it on the side. This one's called The Curious Campus Corpse. Now, I know it has a very strange cover. This is not the original cover. They, it's like sort of looks like just like a, a regular image that they photoshopped a bit and like added blood and gore to it to make it look like a dead guy or something. But it's a, it's a, I think the alternate title is The Hazing, but it's a movie about this, um, this new student who comes to the college and he's, he's up for, like trying to decide which fraternity to join and he ends up going with the one fraternity so him and the other new recruit they force them to go run through the and just in their underpants run through this freezing cold like 20 degree woods for eight miles and like if they can make it to the other side they will be members of the fraternity but through the run the one guy falls and breaks his leg so he when he when they come back to try and help the guy he's dead so then they have to try and figure out what they're going to do with the body and how they're going to cover it up and they talk about hiding him at the um like act like he was skiing and put him his body in the ski ring like um on the ski tra like slopes make it look like he had an accident it definitely definitely check this out i like this a lot and you can get it for like nine dollars at Best Buy. The next one is a remake. It's called The Wizard of Gore. It stars Crispin Glover, who always does good in everything. But what I really liked about this one was Joshua Miller, and he has who hasn't acted since um. And you thought your parents were weird. I believe that was the last official movie that he was in. Before that, he was in um Meet the Hollow Heads as the friend, and he was in um, River's Edge as Keanu Reeves' younger brother. He's a real cool. He was a real cool kid, and um, he always had this like sort of scariness to him. He was also a near dark, but he's finally back in, in this movie. He makes a return in this, and he did a really, really good job. And I hope he continues on doing more of these films. But Chris McGlover's like this magician that takes people up on stage and like kills them in front of the people. But then he snaps his finger, and the people are back to normal. And you wonder how he's doing this, and what's causing this is like. Is it something in the air, some kind of a chemical? I would, I would definitely check this out. And make sure though you get the unrated one because at um, Walmart they have the same, they have this at Walmart, but it doesn't have it's the rated version. So definitely make sure you get that one. The next one I got is called Quad Pro Q. It's a movie with Nick Stahl, and it's about him. He's this paralyzed guy who's doing research on people who want to make themselves paralyzed or people who are want their legs removed and it's a very strange story though but it, at one point he finds these magical shoes I don't want to ruin it but it's very confusing this movie but I th it was made by HD net films I would definitely check this out probably wouldn't buy it I would just try and rent it or watch it on TV but it was very good I also got a double feature and it was looking for comedy in the Muslim world and defending your life two Albert Brooks movies um, the one thing that sucked about the Muslim World one was there was a glitch in the disc, so I missed like 15 minutes in the movie that wouldn't work. But Defending Your Life is one I've always liked. I saw it a couple years ago, I think on HBO. It's about Albert Brooks who dies. And he doesn't end up in like a heaven world. He ends up in this place where they look back at your life and decide if you either continue on in life or if you get born again as another person. And basically you keep going until like they decide that you fulfilled a good life on earth and then you move ahead but he meets um, Mel Streep in this 
and they fall in love up there and then he desperately wants to go on with her. De I would definitely check this out. Next one I got is a um, Steve Martin double feature and it's The Out of Towners and Leap of Faith and I, I thought Out of Towners was pretty good. I know it's a remake. Um, some of the jokes were not too good. I like John Cleason a lot. It, I would definitely check it out. It just wasn't exactly the best movie. Leap of Faith is him as this preacher who tours around at this bus and, and Meatloaf was the bus driver and it was also had um, Philip Seymour Hoffman. It was actually really good and it's about those people, those preachers who like set up hidden cameras and microphones and they try and find out what they can about the people so then they go when they're on stage go, oh, there's Mary, I see person Mary in the first row and she's got cancer and or she can't walk and then he heals them in front of the people because you know what I mean that kind of thing definitely these are this I think this is the best one but I definitely would check them out one I got for five dollars is a weird Howie Mandel film when he like lives with the animals because he gets left there as a baby and then they find him later and um, turns out his f father was this rich multi-millionaire yeah, and um, if they can't prove that Harry Mandel, like, they want to try and get him to sign his name over so Christopher Lloyd, his brother, gets all of his money. This one's very difficult to explain. And it wasn't the best movie, but I did like it a bit. It was a little bit peculiar and cheesy, cheesy but it was good. Another one I got is, I believe this is a Best Buy exclusive at Son of Rambo. It's about these kids at a private school, and they all make their own version, like, attempt to make their own version of Rambo with their brothers, um, the one brothers like old super VHS camera. I believe it's, it's the one with like the little camera then you have like a backpack with the VCR built in to the like the cord to the VCR and they make their own version of Rambo. I like this a lot but like the one kid his parents are like this this mother is this real religious family and they're not allowed to watch TV so she doesn't want him hanging out with the kid making this film but he goes anyway and they end up making it. I definitely would watch this one. And this one I got sent and I, I love this show. It's the second season of Dexter and it's Dexter's about this serial killer and um, but he only kills the bad people and it's um this is the second second season of the show and it continues right where the first one left off and um, I don't know how this third season the third season starts September. It's kind of confusing how it's gonna go since one of the characters. You, well, I don't want to ruin anything about it, but um, I really like this show a lot. There's there's not too much to say about it because you can't really talk about it without spoiling things. But I would definitely definitely check this show out. Another one I got sent was um, the new um, edition of Nightmare on Elm Street, the digitally re restored version. And it's um, in the special edition with this cool case that's like 3D. And it includes um, this um, new feature that explores the, um, you know, the when in Disney World and Disneyland during the winter, they take the Haunted Mansion ride and turn it into a nightmare before Christmas world and like put Jack Skeleton in and change the music. I always wanted to see it, but in this, they, they do a tour of the ride and they also have a making of showing them making the the um the ride at Disney and it also has a new it says Frankie Winnie the uncut version I I guess it's like a different version than the old one that was on the DVD I'm not sure it has a new introduction with Tim Burton though when he talks about the remake he's working on which is going to be um with clay animation but so I'm hoping that he gets Shelley Duvall and Daniel Stern to do it because they were the best for the parents and the other one I got was um the quadruple feature and it's the family comedy feature from um, Universal Studios. It has Kindergarten Cop, Problem Child, Kicking and Screaming, and Major Pain. Now, yes, I already have all of these movies, but Kindergarten Cop and Problem Child are finally in widescreen this set. It's funny, the old DVDs were not, and the Problem Child 1 and 2 pack, the American version, is full screen. So this is the only way to get it in widescreen. And hopefully one of these packs has the second one, so that I can have the second one in widescreen as well. And I, I hope at one point they do a special edition of these because there are all these deleted scenes for Problem Child 1 and 2 that they always air on the TNT versions. And I don't, I hopefully at some point they do that. And uh, another one I got is um, An American Crime, which is based on a true story. 
And they actually made a movie like this already called The Girl Next Door. But that version was changed around a bit. And this, the way it goes, it's like, I think she was the neighbor. And this one, the girl, um, it's, it stars Ellen Page. And her parents are, um, it's her and her sister. And her parents, like, work for the carnival. So they, like, drop her off with this weird family that they meet. Um, that they think is normal, but she's like this crazed alcoholic nutcase who's real medicated. And at one point, the check doesn't come because the family's paying them to look after them. And they, they like, beat them in the basement. It's a very strange movie. But it was actually very well done. I don't think it ever went to theaters. I, I think it might have aired on TV, but I'm not fully sure. Another one I got is the six films that keep you awake. And I didn't get to look at these yet. I think this is a little bit like an alternate version of the After Dark Horror Fest. This is with Spanish films. It has Spectre, A Real Friend, Christmas Tale, The Baby's Room, and Tillette. And I'd like to hear what everyone has thought of these yet, if they're any good or not, because I haven't got to look at them. And the last one I got is um, Married with Children, the complete ninth season. And yes, it's up to season nine. And um, I watched through most of these. It's a very good season. I, I personally think Married Children got better as it went along. I think that it's like one of those shows that I... I mean, there's a few dated references in it, but I've always really liked watching it. So anyway, so I went through this a little quick. I'm getting ready to go out in a little while, but I just wanted to be put you know do this, so I showed what I got. And um, the next DVD update is going to have a lot of stuff, because I think a lot of things I'm really looking forward to are coming out. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching and for subscribing, and see you all later.